Hi guys, so small update about what I'm working currently on. So here I grab this very old, basically vintage, constant voltage welding power supply by Hughes Aircraft Company. So basically the guy was going to throw this into a trash so I had to overpay him to send me, ship me this, as you can see in this toolbox. Uh, as you can see here is a microscope, a technical microscope. Here are the uh, electrodes, as you can see. Here are the electrodes that 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 was going to be put into the trash. So that's that's how it looks like. So that's that's not a new equipment, that's not a working condition. It's meant to be throw away. So I'm going to rescue this device. As you can see, I have opened this already. All the fuses holder was smashed. As you can see they are missing. I replace one, I have to buy another two. I'm Right now I just put here a fuse holders just to start this away just to as you can see I bypass them and put my own so that looks terrible everything is corroded so here are battery, dry lead acid battery. They are not working. I take them out and test on my meter and they are completely dead. So I'm going to put here a 4, 6 volt lead acid battery and I hope that will work. I don't know. We're going to try. So here is some information dry lead acid battery so I'm going to use you know the common standard like 6 volt I think they should work okay we're going to try this I think maybe I will have to adjust the uh, charging voltage but I don't know I don't know right now so what's the main problem which I have right now first I don't know the value of the fuse so I put just a 2 amp slow blow fuses into all of these sockets. I don't know if this is okay, if this is bad. It starts up, but it's not charging the battery because it's dead. It's physical dead. It's sulfate, the plate. So I have to throw it away and I ordered that online. They will came. So I will make another video. So what's the second problem? The second problem is, as you can see, there is a US socket. And the second thing, there is a UK plug. As far as I know, the UK used 230 volts and the US is 115 volts. And the second thing, here is a back plate. You can't see this, but believe me, there is uh, information about 115 volts. I grab a, I grab a, I don't know, do I have them? Some part of the user manual for this, it's very old device. And they were making this 230 volts and 115 volts. And you have to select which one you want want if you are ordering them. Okay. There is some kind of information. Mm. There is information of input power requirements and there were information that you have to choose one of two of them. Maybe there Maybe there are input power requirements, 150, 230. Somewhere here, 115, 213. So there is an information somewhere 
Oh, here I've got this. Specify 115 to 30 input voltage when ordering. Okay, so you have to select this. So tell me, guys, who would change the plug to 115 device to 130 volt? That don't make any sense to me, unless unless someone manually change this device to be 230 volts, not by the uh, fabrica when they were making them, but manually, maybe by changing a tapping in these big transformers. I don't know that, I don't know any history about this device, so I'm completely blind. And right now I've got a very simple idea, and that idea is this fan, as you can see. There is uh, information, this is a uh, 115 volts fan. So I'm going to use my variable power supply and I will put 115 volts to this, this device and I'm going to measure the voltage across the, the fan. If there will be 115, which will be mean their transformer our bypass and this device is actually 115 volts and if I will going to read a half of the 115 voltage that will mean there is going through the transformer which lowering voltage for 213 volts to a half which is 115 that's why how I think it will going to work because that's not a switching power supply it's a line around so I'm not going to think they you know they they will do basically a two device for two voltage I'm just thinking they will have a tapping that will just select between 115 and 230 so if you're going to buy a 230 version they are going to cut the voltage by half using the transformer and that's what I'm thinking I think they are not going to change everything because they realize the capacitors are one, 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 115 volts basically 120 200 volts so that's definitely a device inside it's not going to handle 230 volts so maybe they are going to cut the voltage into half so that's the reason why I'm going to make this test using this fan that's why I desolder it open this so that's it that's it right now I'm waiting for the batteries when the batteries will came I'm going to try to start this up and do the measurements on the fan and maybe try check measure voltage hill here using my scope I will try to fire this up and to see if it's working so basically guys if anyone know, knows the value of the fuse please let me know because I'm seeking of this information I searched the web I was trying to get a service manual but I didn't find this so 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 yes I just try and find this this basic manual user user manual there are some information but basically nothing technical nothing that we really want to know no schematic nothing so I will update you what what is going on when the battery will came so right now it looks like this it looks like came out from trash and that's the that's where, where it came from it was basically thrown away so thank you for watching and see you later